All right, one fast cat wheel. You're about to get it back. But I got it two days ago, maybe three. Eight cats, none of them happy. Mama, not happy. So I will be disassembling it and also doing a review as to why. Not many pros and a lot of cons. And before you even get into all this, pay attention because it's $209 for this perfect piece of plastic. Okay, so here's the deal. We got a lot of issues about stability. That's fact. I have a 30-pound Maine Coon cat, 27-pound Maine Coon cat. Therefore, I've got the branch. I'm, I'm out in the shop because I don't need the help from the cats. So I'm going to be disassembling it. Let me see if I can't get it all going so you can see the explanation. So my shop floor is hard. That's, you know... That, that looks okay. That looks okay. But most people have carpet. And for those that do, it's going to wobble. It's going to. There is no or very little. <coughs> excuse me. And a lack of a lot of common sense in the design. For the stability purposes. So, stability. They have a small piece of bar stock. Ain't no bigger round than, I believe it's not even quarter inch. So the deal with the bar stock, it goes from here to here, and these caps screw onto it. Let's see if I can loosen that up. Got it. Okay, so here's the deal. This is your stability. This is my pinky. Take a gander, people. Take a gander. That is stupidity. Okay? Pure stupidity. Okay? That is your stability. I just want you to get a good grasp on this. Any man that watches this video is going to laugh. Look at this. Might as well put a spring in it. Right? You think it'll blowing back? Weebles wobble. Okay. And then they slide this little piece of metal. Extremely. About as thin wall as you can get. That's it. This is cosmetic. Okay. There is a hole in the bottom of this for absolutely no purpose whatsoever. And that is the wobbly. It's not the wheels. This is a sixth generation, and they did convert to the inline wheels. Okay? They did. Now, when you examine this wheel, and you'll see it in my other videos, several, you can see the inside of this wheel. See how white that is and marred up? The unit won't stay on track. The track is that wide. One knuckle for an inline wheel. In theory, okay. The thump, thump, thump are the seams, not so much the clip spots. And you can see, because I haven't even wiped it down, it's just, I live in the desert, so of course we're going to have dust, which is a great indicator for this video. So you can see the track line. Okay. And then, let me show you some more track line. Get some light on this. And the other side was the worst. You can see where it's rubbing and leaving marks as the wheel rides and rubs on that plastic. And here's your thump, thump, thump. The, line, the plastic doesn't line up whatsoever. Okay. The other videos I'll also explain it and I'll say it again. This is foam, padded foam, and it is a stick-on sheet. That goes from here to here, full width, and they're peel and stick. So the first thing my cat did, one of them, and that was Sly Cooper, 
he walks up and he's checking it out and she, oh, he's touching it. Well, it's foam. Now I got little pieces of foam all over the house and this is not going to last. Eight cats. That was only one. And that was the right when I sat it up and sat it out there. He was checking it out. And that's how cats mark. So let's get this dang thing back. So to disassemble this unit, these pads are wider than our seams from here to here. So the pad will go from about here, overlap the seam, and cover the other seam. Okay, so getting it apart, I have no clue. I have no clue. The wheel itself, yeah, it'll do. It's not going anywhere. It really ain't. It's 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 good. It's good. We'll call it good. I'm not gonna call it a pro because it ain't that good. So let's continue to disassemble this unit. Um, I'm lucky if this works. So, the stability issues I could be fixed. I'm not going to modify it. You know, they already pissed me off. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, are you kidding me? A one by one and two screws in the end would have been a lot stronger than a piece of all thread. Okay, so in order for them to stabilize this unit, and it sits like this. Get rid of this junk. Common sense is not in the middle. There's your wobble. Because that's all it does. And the cat's on it. It's working it. You know, it's working it. So, if they put a stabilizer, at least four of them, that would, that would help with that twist. And a centerpiece, that would help. Eliminate this twist, a.k.a. wobble. I'm, I am frustrated. I, I am frustrated at the audacity. This unit came out of California. It's only five hours away. My son's going back. He'll probably just deliver it personally. Yeah, they offer a return label, $40. You can buy a printer with ink in it already for that amount and print your own damn label. Or pick up an ink pen and a piece of paper, and there you have it. But I appreciate their offer. Before you purchase this, read the return policy from the company. That's their getter. They don't want this unit back because it's junk. Okay? The only reason they'll take it back is if, you, if they can resell it. That, I get it. Yeah, it's all about the money. But think before you buy. Research every piece and part. Read the reviews. Read the comments. Because everybody's showing videos of their cats just running on it. And when you listen, you don't hear anything. You don't hear a noise in any of these videos. Not a thump thump. Not a nothing. So obviously... These videos that they're sharing of the cats running on these have no sound. Otherwise, you'd probably hear the racket. Check out the other videos in this link. So, <coughs> we are going to disassemble. I'm going to pause this while I try to figure out if I'm just going to rip these off, stick the paper back on, which of course I kept everything, and there's the box, to ship it back in. But if it doesn't peel off, I got to cut it on the seams in order to get it away or just let it tear apart. So I'm going to pause this and get right back at it. Here's the tool that you need. That's the one they provide. So we pull off the four ca plastic caps. Now these plastic caps, let me get you closer. So as you assemble it. That little circle just kind of covers that nut, and then you can rotate it. But when you put it on there, 
the plastic rubs on the wheel also. So I had to pull them off while I was troubleshooting this noise. And I still got a lot of noise. So we're going to disassemble this and then I'm going to blow down all the pieces, get it all cleaned up again. And go from there. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you something that is a major no-no in my book as a contractor. To assemble, right, real simple. Now, they use junk bearings. They use junk bearings, but they'll work for a cat deal. So, let's take a look at this plastic. You see this plastic here? That is a circle, half circle. And that is what the pressure rides on, is this piece of plastic right there. Not none of this. Visual. Stands like this, excuse me. Therefore, the weight, when you push down on this wheel, you see that? That's it, that's the stabilizer. That's it. Now, if that was a full circle, that would help, but it's plastic. They need to put a metal spacer in there. That's fine. Even if it's removable, slide the spacer on and suck it up to it. That's a lot stabler than this plastic. So, that's going to break if it becomes unstable, tips, whatever it does. It's, it will break. It's not going to hold up. It's a bad, bad design. I know. I'm a builder. So, I've covered that aspect. What I need to worry about is getting that wheel apart. This foam pad, the way they stick. So, I'm going to set this aside. And uh, if I can recall any other features I need to describe, I'll do that. But let's get going on the wheel. I'm not quite sure how to go about it. I'm going to lay it down. See if that's not an option. Find the seams. I'm going to go and get me a tool, a nylon tool, and try to pull these pads up. Maybe they can reuse them. I'm sure they will. There's only two, I think, that got scratched on the, by the cats, maybe three. That's not going to be easy. Disassembling this is not going to be easy. That's why they did it this way. That's exactly why they did it this way. They don't want you to return it. It's horrible. It's horrible. So as the wheel rides, thump. That one's pretty smooth. Look at that one. Look at this. You can't take this apart and readjust. Thump, 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 thump. And they're all the seams are tight. I went through it. Check out the other videos. So that's going to be an issue. Let's try to get back at this. All right, I think I found a starting point. Now, also another flaw, which might be a blessing in my situation. When you put these pieces in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight pieces. So... And when you close the gaps like this and make them nice and tight so the cat's claws don't get caught in there, the last piece, look how short it is. Gap, 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 gap. So I'm going to see if I can't take advantage of this gap and get these pads up. Because if they don't want to come up accordingly, they want to give me grief, that's on them, not me. Because they did it deliberately so you can't get it apart. Because i got to peel these back. All the way to here. That's how the seams are. Because they overlap. So if they're going to overlap. So from here to here. Covers from here to here. And an inch on each side. So it doesn't really matter. You're screwed. And that's. That's their common sense factor probably. Let me see if I can't work on this. Let me just see if I can't peel this back.
get it started. And there you go. Now, if you want to do, try to readjust and intermix pieces and rotate them and see if you can't get these lines to flush up, the seams to flush up. Double stick, you got one crack at it, but because for it to restick and stay, it's hardly sticky now that I pulled it off. So it is not going to restick very well. That's that. So I'm going to see if I can't go ahead and put the paper back on the back of these as I go. Well, I'm trying to return it as good as I can as it came. Paper. I'm going to, you know, a lot of people really wouldn't care. Um, just stick them together and send them back because it's junk anyway. I kind of care. I do kind of care. I mean, he for effort. So we're going to put the paper back on. Do my best to fully comply with their uh, return policy. All right, there's one. The shot came. And here's the bag it comes in. They all came in this one bag. So when you open it, it's not one of those resealables. So, here we go. Yeah, well, when I do a return, I'm going to record the whole thing best I can. Boy, that one don't want to grab, do it. Hmm. Come on, baby, come on. Try another one. Yeah, this seem it's a nylon wedge. I thought I might need to cut them off, but I don't. There you go. Now, I will give them a plus. They give you these little round things that go on the bottom as the unit, as the legs, call them legs, as they stand, they give you six round dots from 3M, which is like high-end adhesive, to put on there. Why? I don't know. Absolutely no reason. I could assume... The adhesive they're using is 3M, but I can't, I can do it, but I'm not going to assume they make an ass out of me. And right now we're making an ass out of them, not me. So, here we go, people. Fifth piece number two. in the bag. All right. Seven more to go. Six more to go. It's not easy getting these off and trying to keep them in good condition so they can reuse them to sell to a sucker. But we're doing our best to try to fully comply with their trickery return policy. No, no way. I'm paying 40 bucks for a return label anyway, but thanks for the offer. I will 
put the plastics back on, the paper back on, the back of those here in a bit. I just don't want to waste anybody's time more than we have to. Okay. Okay, there's three more. Oop, back here. Come on, Will. Boy, this ain't no fun, is it? doozy. <sighs> Just trying to get that lift. Yeah, they're stuck on it pretty good, I'll tell you that. Lord have mercy. Okay. And what I noticed just now when I was pulling those off, the piece popped up. It's because when they overlap, how they keep their pieces together, that's it. Just two tabs. And they, that's it. So, now we're going to try to figure out how to get that daggum wheel apart. Let's see, we know we got to push up, push up, and push out, and push out, and push up. They click. I'm going to have to figure this out. And be right back. I'm going to try to figure a shortcut. What I'm discovering, you have, you have the clip, this is just one piece to remove it. You have a clip here and a clip here, two on the outside, and you also have two on the inside. So we're going to need to take a blunt object and just kind of pull that up to release the tab. To unlock it like that so the deal is is you got to get all four of them at the same time to release so I'm gonna put some wedging in there let's see what we get okay I got my first one so I took one of my blunt blacksmithing tools with a little bit of leverage on it and I pushed I put it up underneath the tab on the inside and just kind of come down and release it and lift it up. So I've got it separated. This one up down here is released on the back. I gotta release it here. But they don't want they don't come up like that. That's not how it goes because you have the T-lock. So you have to unlock several to get one. Okay. There we go. And with your hands on the outside, there you go. So, their interlocking system, it's not too bad. You can see it's just a T. Just a T. So, there's one out of many. And now that I'm, I'm unlocking, I'm, I'm good to go. She should just, there she goes. There she goes. And clip that inside and then the out and she'll just pop on up always unclip the inside first let's take some of these off
Okay, we are well underway to disassembling. Now, when I put these together and I laid them down like this, I thought because there's two holes here that interlock on the teeth, I figured they'd put a plate and a screw or something on it. No, that wasn't the case. So, let's see. This box here, here's your instructions, is uh, pretty basic. And this is the box that these come in. I'm just going to set them in here next to it for now. I need to blow it down and wipe it down. Cat hair. Okay. Let's see how many more we got. So each round or each ring takes one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you got eight rails per outside ring and eight mats. And I'm not sure how many of these. So. Now, the fun part. Get her up. And over. She's a big boy, make no doubt about it. Once again, you pop the outside, the inside and the outside simultaneous. One at a time, but you gotta watch your sections. Come on, baby. Just to get him to release these pieces. And these are the pieces that they give you. As you can see, one tab, the other piece that interlocks has the opposite tab and that's kind of all it is okay so let's get that bad boy taken apart i'd like you to stay to balance thank you let's see what we can get here there we go There's nothing more that really irks us nowadays, especially nowadays. Money's a lot harder to earn and come by. So to waste two hundred nine dollars, boy, you gonna find a way get that money back and go buy something different. Me personally, I'm just going to build my own. I was going to in the beginning and then I got a little ill. So I purchased it. It didn't pay off. I'm better. I'm still going to buy it after this. Okay, did we got all those together. So... Jack the bad boy apart. I'll pull them back out and wipe them down. I'll just get them out of my way. Okay, I'll make it fit back in the box. So as far as our our running boards go, let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. By golly, I think we got her disassembled and she's going back. So I'll clean her all up, keep your packages, keep all your parts, box it up nice and neat, ship it back to them, be done with it. Needless to say, I'm not pleased, and I don't think you'll be pleased either. If you're not good at assembling and at disassembling, and you decide you're going to purchase, 
one fast cat wheel, you might want to have somebody in line already that can assemble it as well as disassemble it. Disassembling it is so much more difficult than assembling it because of the way they did it. So best of luck to you. But I show you how to do it. No marking, no no damage, no. And that's what I was concerned about was that damage being done to maybe a piece of plastic will bust off or whatever, and then that voids the that'll void your return right there. You know, if you're taking it apart and it breaks, hey, that's it. That's on you. So be careful. Read your return policies. As many reviews as you can. Get on YouTube. I'll post this on my Little Red Fox YouTube channel uh, here in the next day or so. One fast cat. You lost my vote. I'm not going to get the Ferris wheel and compare. I don't need to. I see junk. This is supposed to be the top of the line cat wheel. And if it's junk, then the bottom of the lines are probably better, to be honest with you. So start with cheap. You know, start with cheap. That's what I would do. Inexpensive. You might get your money's worth that way. So you all have a blessed day. One fast cat. Nice try. Bet I want my money back. Everybody have a blessed day.